name is Kanuma, and my age is 8. So, I got a new gaming mouse yesterday. Well, actually, it was today. And I know what you're thinking. But no, this gaming mouse does not run on Java to program the keys. So, let's go to the command prompt. You remember Windows key Q. Wait, no, not Windows key Q. That's search. Windows key X. Then, click on see your command prompt. <coughs> and here's the command prompt. Not very good. I mean, no, I mean, it's good, but not very interesting. So, now, let's go to Sublime. And, unfortunately, I closed it out, so I do Windows key Q to search. And then I type in Sublime. Sublime text 3. <coughs> Look, here's the same program. So, in this video, I'm going to teach you what compiling is. So, let's let's run this program. But first, I have to CD into my desk, uh, capital, desktop, slash Java, <coughs> and now I can do Java C exam. Dot Java. And look, nothing happened. Well, obviously nothing happened. But actually, something did happen. <coughs> All this code, well, you, you're compiling this code to a Java machine. Except there's one problem. There, there are no Java machines. So is it going to compile to a Java machine if there are none? So, it's kind of weird, and you might not think about it, but our computer, that, it, it pretends to be a Java machine. When you type in Java example. So, let's make it to my directory. Oh, look! It's my example.java, my program. But... Uh, what is on top of it? Example.class? I never made that. That's for malware or something? Hmm. Well, example.class is actually the same program as example.java. Except one thing. It's just in different words. And letters. I mean, in different words and numbers. <coughs> so, so in, in example.class, <coughs> There's something called bytecode. Bytecode is machine code, but it's not for our machine. It's for this Java machine. And like I said before, there are none, so our computer pretends to be one. So, what is bytecode? Now, bytecode, you would not want to program in that. That is lots of numbers and letters so let's look to see what bytecode is and I, and I'm gonna go to bytecode so that you actually believe why you don't want to do that so example of class I can go over here even from here it looks giant what is this <coughs> oh my god this is not even all. There's still one more line. Oh, two. So, this is called bytecode. Same thing as machine code, but not for this, for a job. So, bytecode is an intermediate step between this Java code and the machine code. And for bytecode, well, what... Since this byte code is not for our machine, our computer pretends to be one. And when our computer pretends to be one, that's when you type in Java example, like I did right here when I was outputting the string. Now, strings are <coughs> just characters, maybe a billion characters, one character, or it can even be zero characters. Now, <coughs> In Java, strings are just in between double quotes. <coughs> so, I, it was it was really fun teaching you today, and I love making these videos. See you on the next video. Bye.